If you're new to me tonight, everything you've heard and everything you will hear, except this song, or unless I tell you any different, is original. Because I, I learned from that old man I told you about, and he told me, he said, boy, you're going to be a blues man. you got to write, sing, and play, and entertain. Because that's what it's about. So I took it to heart. But every once in a while, there are special songs, and I believe this is a very special song. This is a song that was written by Buckle White, and he recorded this back in 1932. And he was forgotten about, you know, and then rediscovered in the 60s, and he started traveling with a folk singer by the name of Tom Rush out of Boston, Massachusetts. And Tom Rush heard just about every train song that old Buckle White did, and he put them all together in a song he called the Panama Limited, which don't even sound like the original Panama Limited. But it became a very famous song back in the 60s. I heard it, and I liked it, and uh, I started playing it back then when I started off. And then when I came back to my acoustic roots, well, I started playing it again. And wouldn't you know it, I, I met people that uh, claimed to hobo the train, claimed to work on the train. And I said, rather than put it all in a big, long story in front of the song, I think I'll just put it in the song. I mean, Tom Rush version changed the original version, so mine's going to change that version. But the essence of the song remains the same. And that's so important, I think, especially with American music, because we're talking about the basic emotions that human beings have. And that's why I... That's why we got such great folk music, I think. Travel around the world, people say, man, we just love your music, you know. American music, our folk music. Mm -hmm. This song is called The New Panama Limited. And I'm going to close it with, uh, close this first set together with this song. song about a train. A train run all the way from New Orleans, Memphis, St. Louis, Chicago, Illinois. It's a special streamlined train. I mean the train so fast the whole boat don't even mess with it. They stand on by with a hat in the hand they watch it go by. I remember one day down in Helen, Arkansas. I got done doing this set for a festival. I was sitting on a loading dock relaxing. Who come by to visit with David Hunter Boy Edwards? Well, he reached in his back pocket and took out what we call an ass pocket of brandy. We sat down, we drank some brandy together, did some talking and some visiting. After a while, our conversation went back to the days of Hunter Boy and Robert Johnson and Big Joe Williams, and I asked him, I said, Honey, you're pretty fair hobo in your time. Did you ever get that train? He replied to me with a little wink and a nod and a smile. Later on, my travels took me to a fellow that claimed to work on the sister train, a train they called the City of New Orleans. And you know, they wrote a song about that train too. And what he told me was that both these trains was called the Chicken Bone Express. Meaning that the poor people spend all their money to get a ticket to ride. So friends relation come on by with a sack lunch, sack dinner, give them something to eat as they rode up north. The well, ladies and gentlemen, the name of this song, name of the train, it wasn't the same. I call this the New Panama Limited. early one morning I woke up before my little girl you know sunlight coming through the wind upon her face I think about just how lovely she was she reached over grabbed my arm I looked over towards her that's when she said to me oh daddy I sure don't want to say Come on, baby, put your clothes on now. We don't want to be late for train time. Not today.
up and down the Union Depot. Sometimes in the early morning air, you know, you hear them trains out in the distance. We walk along, we heard the train sound like this. She said, Dad, is that the Panama Limit? I said, no, baby, I don't believe that is. That sounds like the 830 local to me. Limited, well, she's grown more lonesome than that. I've often wondered why a man can't say what it feels. I've often wanted to sense of that. I was thinking about telling her how much I loved her and how much I needed her. When she reached over to me and she grabbed my arm and looked over towards her, that's when she said, Oh, Daddy, I sure do love you so. Say, And just then we heard it. It was the Panama Limit. And as I could tell now, that train may be 36, 37 miles from Memphis, Tennessee. But you come in. special streamline like I told you you know people claim she get cold and water on the fly and I don't know if that's true or not but I do know she squall on the turn and she split rail when she runs when that big train is moving fast starts splitting rail she sound like this When she get to the turn, she gonna squall. When the big turn squall, she sound like this. down to the station steps. She said, Daddy, you know about train time? I said, little girl, I don't know nothing about no train time. I'm going to play some guitar and try and make a few nickels and dimes. You want to know about train time? You got to find your train, man, but you leave me alone now. I got some money to make. Well, I heard a feeling. She gave me a scream and cry, she said. Oh, Daddy. I don't like the way you put me down. And with that she picked up a grip and she ran up the steps of the station. Well I realized what had done wrong now. Raised up my right hand, I called out a name. I begged for forgiveness. She heard me. She stopped at the very top of the step, looked over her left shoulder. That's when she said, You're too late. Mama gonna leave you now. Say, inside the station she found a train man she said mr train man can you help me he said if i can i'll be glad to help you what do you need she says i gotta know about train time he said lord i can help you with that all you gotta do is go over there by them rails put your head by them and listen and when you hear the rails humming ringing 
clacking and singing, then you know train time won't be long. She went over by the rail, she put her head by him, she listened. That's pretty much what she heard. When a big train get close to Memphis, Tennessee, they gotta slow it down. How they do that when they get to that three mile curve? They slow it down with an air brake. Engineer find a spot, let the brake go, they sound like that. inside the tunnel now. She started to slow. Engineer now, he gonna ring on the bell, let the people know it's coming in. The big train rumbles in. The engineer, well, he ring on the bell. And all those sounds come together like this. Thank you all very much. Take a short break and come back. <laughs>